Hi guys, today I want us to model this cover and we are going to start by creating one sketch that has this shape then revolve the sketch to form a surface then I'm going to use a boolean a rib to make these ribs then boolean to separate let's have fun using on shape this is the main sketch I'm using inches for the units here yeah, workspace units this one is a spline that is tangent to these two and these two are equal you can see the relation here 1.4 and I'm using inches. This is the first sketch. You can call it maybe revolve sketch. Next, I need not to revolve. I want to use a surface. I'm revolving a surface here. And we select the edge, this edge. You, here you can't select these lines because they are for construction for the revolve axis you can select this then next you need not to thicken you can thicken here you thicken inside by a minute by i want to thicken this one by 0 0.13 inside not outside okay a minute here yeah, my internet is having some small issues this one it was here let me delete i don't need this one next we need now to make and uh, this one is done now we need to make a an, an second part let me rename this one as my my revolve shape then we need now to go to new sketch New sketch is on a top plane. Can see on top plane. You use this command. Use you this one the inner circle. Then create another circle of ten point five. And you extrude. You extrude by three mm, not three mm, three inch. And you have to use a new, you have to form a new part here. You can see new, and you can rename extrude part. These are two different parts. We have now the revolve shape and extrude part. Then we need to shell this shell to remove that top face by 0.1. You just select the top face and use the shell then we need another sketch because you need to make this rib now these are ribs 40 of them we need to make a sketch this is a sketch Align, then you use circular pattern and you pattern 40 pieces. Okay, just make one line, one circular pattern to form 40 pieces. Then we need another sketch on the face here, and you know to. To have concentric circles, three of them. Let's now dimension them six point five. 
neck to be eight neck to be nine point five you can see okay you can see now we have we are forming this shape you can see this shape here that has these circular rings they are one two three and ribs next we need now to use rib go to select the rib for the sketch profile you select the sketch 3 that is the circular ones and sketch 4 for the for the circular circular circles and we need 0 0.1 you see now we have error because we are forming the rib parallel to the sketch plane you have to use normal normal means we are going to to go inside along z axis then we have to select merge ribs then we have to use the part that you are going to merge ribs to onto this part that is the extrude part the ribs will go to the extrude part then it will merge to form to form one part if you don't select the match, it forms very many parts 40 plus now circles 45. You have to combine this to be to be one. Okay. Lastly, as you can see, we are almost forming the shape. If I put this one here. Now we need not to remove the the gray section here therefore meaning where these two parts intersect that's what we need therefore I use what we call boolean I need to intersect if you use union these two the, 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 it combines both of them to form one part if you use union but now you can see it is now one part but if you select subtract ours we need opposite of subtract that is intersect where the intersect that where we need therefore you can see this is where the materials intersect that's what we need and now the cover is formed using just a simple command that is boolean okay stay tuned for more videos and subscribe for more advanced skills